سلام Uh, says uh, talks about the importance of keeping a promise he says a promise of a believer is an oath and although it does not have a kafara that means a penalty for breaking it whoever fails it has failed allah and it is this is the subject of dislike by allah again reminding us that this is quite a serious matter so one of the qualities of the faithful of believers is that there is integrity between their speech and their actions this means that they can be counted on to tell the truth and to carry out what they promise or intend to do now there are many reasons why um, you know we sometimes fail at this we may say things that we have no intention of doing and we we say this sometimes because it becomes a habit because we want to people please because we want to um, get out of trouble we don't want conflict um, you know we just uh, we don't want to stand up to people and therefore we may say something that we 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 say that we will do it we make a promise and uh, scholars explain that to promise a thing which one has no intention of doing is a sign of hypocrisy in the heart so quite a serious matter and then sometimes we you know we make promises because we have intentions to do them but life gets in the way you know other things come up and um, um you know our enthusiasm for making the promise has worn out and now we have to face the reality of keeping our word which sometimes seems too hard you know just life happens things happen and uh, so scholars tell us that you know when we make promises that we intend to do but we are um, you know unable to carry it out and that's a sign of weakness so both issues you know whether it is hypocrisy or weakness those are quite serious matters and uh, being your uh, word you know uh, carrying out your pledge and promise uh, is considered in some to be one of the hallmarks of the faithful to the extent that this does not um, you know relate only to promises and pledges that you make to believers and to each other but to um, the wider society and even to enemies so imam ali alayhi salam in one of his uh, letters to his um, uh, viceroy uh, malik al ashtar he commands him to be true to his word even if it be to the enemy so in najul balagha he writes if you conclude an agreement between yourself and your enemy or enter into a pledge with him then fulfill your agreement and discharge your pledge faithfully place yourself as a shield against whatever you have pledged because among the obligations of allah there is nothing on which people are more strongly united despite the difference of their ideas and variation of their views than respect for fulfilling pledges besides muslims even unbelievers have abided by agreements because they realize the dangers which would come in the wake of violation thereof in other words you know fulfilling our promises keeping to our agreements is the basis of a society is basis of a civilized society it is uh, it makes everything work because people can count on it and without that there is absolute chaos there is uh, distrust there is always being vigilant looking over your shoulder it is not a peaceful way to live so when we say what we mean and mean what we say people can count on us uh, you know trust is increased in relationships whether it's work related social relationships or uh, personal intimate relationships you know all of them thrive on the other hand uh, when we do not keep our word you know it causes upset disappointment 
and it definitely destroys our credibility and leads to distrust. And since our experience in life with others greatly depends upon the credibility and goodwill that we enjoy amongst our people, this ends up costing us dearly in the long run. So let's think of all the promises and pledges that we have made, both implicit and explicit. Explicit promises are those that are spoken or written and they create an absolute expectation of fulfillment. And to back out of these without excusing yourself, uh, you know, in a valid excuse or apology, and valid excuse means uh, an emergency, something that you did not see coming up, right? Uh, or an absolute apology, uh, things that we have committed to others and not fulfilling them is a sure way to damage trust in our relationships. And then, of course, we have implicit promises that we all make. The vow of being a faithful spouse the vow of being a parent who is available, responsive, engaged, a colleague who is trustworthy and uh, has some level of loyalty to um, the organization, for example, a community member who looks after the well-being of other community members and is engaged. You know, all of these are implicit promises by belonging to groups, to relationships, to organizations, and there are people absolutely counting on us to fulfill these pledges, even if they're not overtly spoken. So we can start by, be, by practicing being unreasonable with our word. What does that mean? So once we commit to anything, chances are life happens for sure and our plans will get derailed. You know, uh, things will come up that we did not expect. Our energy and enthusiasm will have worn off. We may encounter difficulty in keeping our word. It's harder than we expected. And uh, sometimes our brains will come up with many, many ways why this was a bad idea and you simply cannot do what you said you would do, right? Being unreasonable means that when, you know, your brain comes up with reasons, life come up, comes up with reasons why you can be excused from keeping your word, you do not fall for those reasons. You know, you, you stay faithful to your promise or your pledge and you keep your word in big and small ways. And this means that we really need to think before we make promises. Uh, you know, when someone asks us for something, you know, very often the easiest way is to say yes, right? And if we truly have no time, uh, no um, inclination, no, uh, uh, you know, intention of keeping that, then please let's not promise, whether implicitly or explicitly. So, you know, in other words, we need to make many fewer promises. And when we do promise something, we need to be unreasonable with our words and make sure that we fulfill those promises. Now, of course, there will be times when, you know, you will not be able to. There will be genuine cases of emergencies, uh, things that, that show up that you could absolutely not have predicted, which kind of stops you from doing what you had promised to do. Again, not a good idea to just let it slide. You know, um, being uh, responsible means that we take ownership of that. We communicate um, our falling short and uh, why we are not able to keep this. But again, you know, when we uh, do this frequently, it again causes a lack of credibility from us. You know, we need to be um, really make sure that we do our very best, even when circumstances change. And, you know, there's a beautiful um, uh, section in Dua'i Makaram al which we have been, uh, which many of us read uh, this month. Actually, I'm not sure if it's Makaram al or Dua'i Toba. I should look that up, uh, where it says that, please remind me of the obligations, you know, some of the obligations I remember and some of which I have forgotten. So let us pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the words of Imam Zainul Abideen alayhi salam to remind ourselves of all the promises we have made and to help us in fulfilling them. So he says in Dua'i Tawbah, which is found in Sahih Fai Sajadiyya, O Allah, and on me are obligations, some of which are and some of which are forgotten, while all of them are before your eye which does not sleep and your knowledge which does not forget. So compensate their owners on my behalf and remove their burden from me. 
lighten their weight for me and protect me from committing them again. Amen. So, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.